Michael Jackson's death in 2009 shocked the entire world. Fans everywhere were left asking, how could this happen? The answer was a drug that very few people outside of medicine had ever heard of, propofol. It's not a painkiller, and it's not a sleeping pill. It's one of the most powerful anesthetics used in hospitals. In this video, I'll explain what propofol really is, why doctors use it, and how it became the free drug that ended the life of the king of pop. Stay with me until the end, because this truth is fascinating and frightening. On June 25, 2009, Michael Jackson was found unresponsive in his Los Angeles home. The world's greatest entertainer had died at just 50 years old. The autopsy later revealed something shocking, high levels of propofol in his body. This drug had been given to him by his own doctor inside his bedroom as a supposed solution for his tronic insomnia. But here's the shocking part. Propofol is almost never seen outside surgical rooms. It's a hospital drug requiring special monitoring equipment. Using it at home was not just unusual, it was dangerously reckless. Propofol is a powerful intravenous anesthetic. Doctors use it to put patients into deep sleep during surgeries or medical procedures. It works fast. Within seconds, a patient is unconscious. And it wears off quickly once the infusion stops, which is why it's so popular in modern anesthesia. But it's not something patients ever see outside an operating room. The reason is simple. Propofol slows down breathing and heart rate. Without machines to monitor oxygen and vital signs, even a slightly higher dose can stop someone's breathing completely. That's why it's strictly meant for hospitals, not bedrooms. Propofol is not like sleeping pills. It doesn't gently make you drowsy. It shuts down brain activity fast. Within seconds, your body relaxes so much that your breathing slows and your heart rate can drop. In hospitals, doctors keep patients safe with oxygen, heart monitors, and emergency equipment. Outside of that setting, it's a ticking time bomb. There is no antidote for propofol. If someone overdoses, the only chance is immediate life support. That's why using propofol at home is not just risky, it's almost guaranteed to end in disaster. Michael Jackson had suffered from insomnia for years. Normal sleep aids didn't work for him. Desperate for rest, he turned to his personal doctor, who began giving him nightly infusions of propofol, as if it were a sleeping pill. But propofol was never designed for that. Without the safety of hospital machines, each dose put him on the edge of life and death. On the night of June 25, 2009, his body couldn't recover. The combination of propofol and other drugs shut down his system completely. The King of Pop slipped away, not on stage, but in his bed. The world was stunned. Millions of fans mourned while investigators searched for answers. It soon became clear that Michael Jackson's death was not just a tragedy, but also a case of medical negligence. His doctor, Conrad Murray, was later convicted of involuntary manslaughter for recklessly administering propofol in a private home. The trial revealed how far things had gone. A hospital drug had been turned into a nightly sleep routine. The case sent shockwaves through the medical world, reminding everyone that even life-saving drugs can kill when misused. Propofol itself is not evil. In hospitals, it's one of the safest and most effective anesthetics we have. Millions of patients benefit from it every year without problems. But the lesson is clear. Powerful drugs belong in controlled medical settings. Propofol shows us how thin the line can be between healing and harm. In the right hands, it helps save lives. In the wrong hands, it takes them away. Michael Jackson's story is a tragic reminder that medicine outside its proper place can turn deadly. So let's recap. Propofol is a hospital anesthetic meant for surgeries under strict monitoring. It is fast, effective, and safe, but only in the right environment. Michael Jackson's death showed the world what happens when such a drug is taken outside of medicine's safety net. A superstar lost his life, not from street drugs, but from a hospital drug used recklessly. The story teaches us one thing. Even the most advanced medicine can become deadly when misused. Did you know about propofol before Michael Jackson's death? Share your thoughts. In the comments below, I'd love to hear your perspective. If you found this story eye-opening, please hit like, subscribe, and tap the bell for more.
In the next video, we'll explore another drug with an equally shocking history. Until then, stay curious, stay safe, and remember, medicine saves lives, but only when it's used the right way.